Hey collectors, before we get started with this week's concert poster conversation, I want to encourage you to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss any of the content Go Collect has to offer. Welcome back to another concert poster conversation with none other than Glenn Trosh from the Psychedelic Art Exchange. I'm Katie and we're talking about a poster that I don't know a lot about. It's a, one of the rarest Grateful Dead posters out there. So I'm just going to have Glenn explain it to you. Uh, Troopers Club, 1966. The dead were, you know, in the infancy of their storied Where's the Troopers career. Club? Troopers Club was in Los Angeles on Sunset Strip, I believe. A, not, not a notable club, but mm -hmm. it was, this was, a, you know, a very small, reasonably unknown venue and and it was a, you know it was a virtually unknown grateful dead gig but the, the, that's not what's important here what's important here is that this poster was designed and even more importantly signed by osley osley was responsible for the 60s in many ways he was a renaissance man um not only was he responsible for creating the recipe or following the recipe of manufacturing LSD in uh, he was he was the best known producer and apparently made the best acid in history and this was 66 LSD was still legal mm -hmm. um, and Bear was it was helping fund the band a little bit but he was really he was more into giving his wares away but that's a whole another story he was not known for design and this mm -hmm. is the only poster he ever created and he was also not known for signing things so this is an anomaly this poster i don't know if another example exists like this but bear also you know he was the grateful dead sound man he created he was he created the wall of sound he was inspirational in modern day concert production uh, it, it can't be underestimated his impact on all of this without bear the whole thing doesn't happen either well can you talk a little bit about why it says the all-night harmonica store on the poster the all-night harmonica store according to legend the the band was you know once again this was 60s they were hanging out with osley they were doing a lot of acid uh pig pen was not into psychedelics at all. Pigpen was into alcohol. And as the legend would go, he and a friend were out all night looking for booze and carousing and whatever, and came back at dawn while the rest of the boys, I guess, had been tripping. And when he was greeted at the door, the question was, well, where have you been all night? And the response was, we were looking for the all night harmonica store. <laughs> Like so that, that uh, you know, that's 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 one of the gems behind this piece. But this exists in minuscule quantities. It was produced in minuscule quantities. Well, how about the some of the other artists that are listed on this poster? Can you talk about? Uh, yeah, I mean, Tiny Tim, Tiptoe Through <laughs> the Tulips, uh, Rona Martin's Laughing, the Smothers Brothers. He was uh, he he was another face of the '60s. He was comedy uh he was he was yeah tiny he tim was is for sure it, weird yeah 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 let's see and there's some other ones on there too uh del close del close is the father of modern improv comedy he is was the inspiration behind second city saturday night live he super important that is i mean th that's an esoteric kind of not known fact but that plays a lot for this poster yeah well this is one of the first posters that we've uh made a video about that isn't graded or anything do you have any sense for is this good condition uh, this is imp it looks good. impossibly yeah. good condition for its age and scarcity and the reason it's not currently graded is because of as today, uh, CGC is only doing a small amount of the known posters, whatever right. that they can wrap their head around. The Art of Rock and Anything Eric Anything that has like a category in the... 
it's American just it's 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 this isn't that well known. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it was the Bard of Rock was created by what uh, Paul Gr uh, Grushkin could get the photos of and right. what he could get his hands on. So have you ever sold one of these at Psychedelic Art Exchange? Yeah, actually, there's a good story. Um, a copy of this poster was consigned to us by Tim Scully. Scully, not Rock Scully, who was the manager of the Grateful Dead, but Tim Scully was one of the sunshine makers. It's another documentary. He may he and his uh, his partner probably made more hits of acid than anyone else. They wanted to try to save the world. They that there's a whole story about that. But behind yeah, Tim consigned the poster to us, and as part of that consignment, he allowed the winning buyer a visit to see him in California, and I was along for that visit, and it was fascinating. Tim was brilliant. He, I, that's another, a whole nother blog. I mean, he was a really important uh, factor of the whole acid culture. It's a, it's, a, it's a story that hasn't been told well until recently, but yeah, go see the documentary, The Sunshine Makers. All right, will do. And, you know, find this poster if you can. I don't, can't imagine that more than five copies exist. And I would venture to say that this is probably the highest quality and likely the only one signed by Osley. Yeah, and how much did the copy you sold go for, if you can remember? I can't remember. 30, maybe? 30,000? 30, 30,000. 30, how I, much do you think you could sell this one for right here? I wouldn't sell it for <laughs> less than you wouldn't a hundred thousand, and that would be someone would really have to twist my arm for that. This is, I you know, here's the thing: where am I going to find another copy? Nowhere. I mean, that's uh, this is in terms of other collectibles and the historical importance in the whole Grateful Dead story. This is. Uh, yeah, it, it really, uh, it, it's cliche, but this is priceless. And just one last thing. I know I know you mentioned this is a whole nother topic, but I'd love for you to talk a little bit about the Psychedelic Light Show. Psychedelic Light Show? Uh, well, right on that poster. All right, the Psychedelic Light Show was part of the whole experience at these concerts in the, in, in the 60s. It was, uh, you know, it came from the Trips Festival, maybe earlier, and was part of every Bill Graham and Family Dog Show. The These light show artists were part of the whole experience. Uh, they made these wild uh, image uh, designs with uh, the clock faces with oil and uh, colored oil and water in them. Uh, you'll see, if you ever see images from the film or whatnot, you'll see these wild lights in the background. It was, yeah, it's a whole story and they were important artists in their own right. Awesome. Well, you won't find this poster in our graded price guide, but make sure you still check that out. We've got an awesome concert poster price guide. It'll really help you on your collecting journey. And make sure to check it out. We've got the link in our description. Thank you, as always, for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I'd love to hear what you think about this poster, and we'll see you back soon.